Hello, it's me, Jennifer, from a Step Back in Time Journals. Today, I want to show you what I have been making with this particular mold I made a long time ago with some silicone. And I pressed in some um, old buttons. And what I've been doing is... I'll take something and put into there, I don't know, whatever color I want to bring out or texture. I have been, um, some of them I put uh, some sprinkles of glitter in them and some of them I've put some jewels and some of them I put some of this brown lace to give it a brown color anyway I'll show you let's do one okay so I'm gonna put start out with a little drop sorry a little drop of glue so I can get it to come out yep and then we'll put one of these jewels in Hopefully it goes the right direction. This is just for uh, demonstration purposes. I'll show you how they turn out. Um, and then I'm going to put some more. Fill up the little cavity there. And my glue may not be hot <laughs> enough right now. But you get the idea. And then I'll show you what how they turned out. Anyway, fill up the cavity, let it dry. Okay, I have a little drawer with all of them in it. I'm gonna move this away and show you my glitter. Oh, look at my hands now. Oh, okay. Well, this one, I didn't put anything on. <laughs> I'm making these little dangles with them on it. Here we go. Here's one of them. I thought it turned out really cool. I put some little ink on the outside of that one. And then I sprayed it with some sealant. Oh, and I put words on the back of it so you have something on both sides to look at. I thought that one was really cool. Then on this one. Alright, this is one of the glittery ones. And then I put some ribbon around it. Now you can see a better side, I think. Isn't it cool? And then I added a little bit of lace at the top with a dab of glue so it can just be on here. And a little paper clip charm. Forget who I learned that from. Oh, sorry. If I remember, I'll put it down below. And then here's one that kind of turned out or was missing a spot, so I just filled it in. But it still looks cool, looks old. I like all my stuff to look vintage, so. Looks like an old broken button. And then the back I put a little bit of lace. And some ink on it. Inked it up. Distressed it. Another paper clip charm. Here's one. This one turned out really cool. It's the bigger button that I have in my mold. I'll show you. It's this mold. Yeah, my, my glue wasn't hot enough on that one. Anyway, it was in here just like so. And see, there's a little jewel I put right there when, when it came out before. When I was putting on um, this metal piece. Then I put the jewel right in the middle of it, so it looks cool. I love how that one turned out, too. 
see if there is more. Oh, one more. Oh, three more. Sorry. Okay. That one turned out really pretty. I'm going to put the paper on the back of that one. Oops. <laughs> And then here's one glittery and jewelry inside there. It's really fun to mesmerize you. Woo. Okay, and then close the back. Woo, now you can see the jewel. That was the first one I did. Has three jewel. No, it has a jewel in the middle, and it has some sequins. And then at the top, I put the um, pin upside down. Okay. That is all of my cute little charms. I hope you enjoyed this charmy thing. Somewhere. Um, if you have a Tupperware, I think that's how I did this, this one. I may have just stuck it on top of a um, cookie sheet or something. Old one. Anyway, I just put a glob of <laughs> stuff down and pressed my stuff into it. It didn't turn out the best, but it's still fun to use sometimes. Let's get one of these going again just to show you how it turns out. The heat is on better now. So there it goes. Um, what do we want to put in it? Here's my charm. got this little poker thing and I'll just sink it down a little bit maybe <laughs> okay and then on the back we can put our piece of something and a hook I mean a loop of some sort. You know what we could do? We could try out putting a key on it for the loop. Just to see how it looks. I think I want it the other direction like so. Just for fun. I'll put a little bit more glue. I don't know. If I put more glue, it's going to take longer for it to get dry for y'all. If I need more glue later, we'll do it. Just press it in there real good. Okay. Today, my little girl, or my oldest girl, is babysitting she got a job babysitting two children from two different women that know each other so pray for her that all will go well she had a little bit of a um a start <laughs> to her day because one of them is a two-year-old you know you know they can be upsetting at times but she calmed down finally and she's been an angel <laughs> so that is good and let's see is it cooled off yet it looks like it is I think it is let's see if we can get it out <gasps> there it goes oh the key came out <laughs> so much for the key okay what you do is you press the bottom and voila 
So I will just put something on the back when I'm ready to attach it and put more glue on top of that. But it did turn out really lovely. Look at all the speckles. I think I want some um, glitter that has more gold to it. But it's pretty. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Say a prayer for us. Love y'all. Bye-bye.